Hey, how's it going? All right, this is Colin Powell. He was on Face the Nation on Sunday, and he had some interesting things to say about the George Zimmerman case that I want to share with you guys. What do you think the uh, implications and the fallout of the Trayvon Martin case will be? All right, he's got asked the question, and there's going to be one one sentence answer, but it's actually two answers. So I wanted you to hear it. It's very short. I think that uh, it will be seen as... Um, a questionable judgment on the part of the judicial system down there. All right, that's part one of the sentence that he's going to say about it. So, you know, of course, my argument to that statement that he just made is he's full of shit because he doesn't know anything about the case. And if he did know something about the case, he might bring up some points like he might say it's a questionable. And this is why I say that it's questionable, because, you know, when I make my videos, that's how I do it. I, you know, if I say something, if I make a point of fact, then I try to back it up with with other facts to prove that I'm right. But he doesn't do that. He just says it's questionable and leaves it up there, you know. And the fact that he's such a smart guy, of course, we have to just accept that we don't. You don't need to give me any evidence. Oh, yeah, right. Colin Powell said it. That's why it's it's questionable. But the second part of his sentence really bugs me. Listen to this. Uh, but I don't know if it'll have staying power. These these cases come along and they, they blaze across the midnight sky. Uh, and then after a period of time, they're forgotten. So what does that have to do with the first part of his sentence? I mean, the first part was whether the case was valid, whether the ruling was valid, right? But then he immediately says, but it doesn't, it won't have any staying power, you know, he's just concerned about the staying power. What staying power? What are you talking about? Well, I'll tell you what he's talking about. The race baiters and these people that are really against guns and stuff that use this case for that, they are adamant that this, that this case, at the very minimum, bring down the stand your ground law. But at the same time, they're trying to stir racism in this in this country. So what he's saying is these little minions of Obama that that they've been using to stir the little pawns that they send out to do their dirty work are short memory people. These people, most of them, you know, are either drug addicts. They got all kinds of problems. And Obama uses them. He buses them around to do, you know, go to this place and, and protest and go to that place. So you'll see buses. You won't see people pulling up in cars. Buses. And so, you know, mostly he'll just, I, I assume that Obama went out to these homeless people, gathered them up, you know, thousands and thousands of homeless people, said, you're homeless. I'm going to put you in a hotel and give you some signs to hold. Free food, free hotel. You're my guy. You know, I want you to go out there and protest, you know? That's my personal opinion because these people, obviously, if you in, if you ask them questions off the cuff, they don't know anything about anything. They're just here doing it. So here's Colin Powell telling us that our verdict was wrong, that our judicial system down here has got some sort of problem, which really irritates us down here, us Southerners, because we don't want you people up there telling us how to live. That's why we live down here. You go live your life up there. But then to say that it that the anger that they've stirred in the hearts of these ignorant people that have no clue about what happened in the case doesn't have staying power, that rubs me wrong. That really does. Because what he's saying is we need to keep stirring the shit. Somebody get out here with a big ladle and stir the pot because these little assholes are starting to cool off. It bugs me. And if somebody dies, somebody gets shot or killed because of these gangs, these mobs that are going around killing white people because they're angry at what they perceive as a an injustice when it was justice, then I hold Colin Powell responsible. And as far as I'm concerned, Colin Powell needs to be locked up. He's an evil man that's doing terrible things to our country. Him, along with Obama. They need to be locked up. So, that's my opinion. And I'm just glad that I was able to say it. So, good talking to you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.